Hey guys, welcome to another tutorial by Jesper Grip for Creativo.com and CStation.net. Make sure to subscribe to both channels and uh, hope you enjoy the tutorials. Basically what we're going to do today is just a really 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 simple background and this you can use to play around with and you can evolve it into something better if you like. So basically we have here a document with nothing in it. I'm going to take a really dark blue color here and I'm going to keep this as a light blue uh, and I'm just gonna take my gradient tool, tool and as you see this applies to foreground and background color that's why we selected both colors there and then I'm just gonna pull it like this uh, and keeping these colors is really good because you know you give a feel of uh, they work together, you know, like for example a yellow and a red color wouldn't work together, it would just look weird. So, what we're going to do now is take a new layer, we're going to go in here, take a brush, take it on, the, on around 20, something like that, and I'm going to just pull this. Sorry, I'm going to switch to white first. <laughs> and I'm just going to pull this up like this, and I'm going to keep it a bit of a twist on it, not straight lines. You want it to like go upwards, like that. And then we can pull one more there. There we go. After this, I'm just going to go into Filter, Blur, Motion Blur. And this is, as you see, pretty too much. So I'm going to bring this down to around 240, a little less there. And I'm going to change the direction of it to around there. As you see now it looks kind of like folding folding pieces of something. <laughs> so yeah, that's that's kind of what I want. I'm going to now make a new layer, go into my brush preset. I'm going to go into shape dynamics and I want it to size it a bit. I'm also going to go to spacing and open up that a bit. So we have size jitter a bit up, angle jitter you can change but we have round pieces and we're gonna keep them round so that won't really work. So I go into scattering, we want that to be maximum, count you one or two around there, I don't want too many of them. And then I'm going to go into transfer because I do want a bit of um, opacity. I don't want flow jitter at the moment but opacity I want so I'm gonna, not too much, just a little bit. And there we go. Now I'm going to just paint here these balls. They paint them out all over the place. Just starting from the same location and going upwards. So it's more of them down here and less of them up here. Filter, blur, motion blur. And now we're gonna select them so they go like that around there I want and as you see now this gives, this gives us pretty good texture but it doesn't look that good so I'm just gonna raise up the distance here as you see now we get more lines and we can change them down for a little more lines or we can change them up for having this bigger line so I'm gonna have it around there and then after that I'm going to take a new layer I'm going to take my brush again I'm going to go into do the same Setting, size jitter, spacing, we want it to be around there, scattering, we want the scattering back on, and we want the transfer back on. I'm going to add a little bit of flow jitter as well. And I'm going to also raise up the brush size to around 70, something like that. I'm just going to pull casually up there, pull casually there, pull casually in the middle. Actually pulling a little bit higher in the middle. There we go. Now we have big round balls there. <laughs> I'm going to lower this down again to around 14. Uh, a little bit much actually. No, uh, 20 around there. I'm going to pull up like that, pull like that, and pull a little bit in the middle here. Like that. And then you can, as always, like if you want them not to be as visioned, you can, like, for example, take this blue 
and you can paint on a new layer some blues in there they're gonna match with the background and they're gonna also give it a little bit more texture feeling like that and then I usually want to do after that I usually want to take a for example a logo and put it in there like for example our awesome creative logo and I put it down to the bottom so it still gets the texture from the background and then yeah that's pretty much what I usually want to do when doing a background um, so yeah guys hope that helped you and be sure to subscribe to creativo.com uh, both uh, our social network and our YouTube channel and also creative station on YouTube since that's our partners and um, have a good one make sure you upload some video responses so I can see what you guys are doing with your tutorials I make so have a great one bye bye